Hello students, welcome again. Students, when we read the novels of the 18th and 19th centuries, we come across this term Gadik novels. In today's lecture, we want to understand what these Gadik novels are, what is the origin and development of Gadik novels in English literature, and what are the important features of Gadik novels. Okay, so now let's begin. See, you must have seen some movies or serials which are full of horror, terror, mystery and suspense. Okay, you must have heard the stories where it begins like it was a dark and stormy night and the door opens with a cracking noise and a lady without any head uh, enters in a white sari. Okay, do you like to read such stories? Okay, do you like to read the horror stories of ghosts and mystery and romance? Then you might be, if yes, you might be the fans of Gadik literature. Now, what is a Gadik novel in English literature? Gadik novels are the stories which incorporate the elements of horror and romanticism and they include some supernatural elements and mystery. This is the common accepted definition of Gadik novels. Now, from where do we get this term Gadik novels? Actually, this term comes from the term Gots, G-O-T-H-S. Okay, now Gots is the name of one community who used to live in Europe in the ancient times they are known as germanic tribes okay you know that germanic tribes are one of the ancient tribes who were uh, residing who were living in the ancient england okay they fought so many battles uh, with the roman empire in those olden days okay so these gadik novels are called gadik novels because these novels are are placed the setting uh, the place which is presented in these novels they are taken these pieces are taken from gadik styled architecture okay the ancient castles ancient houses haunted houses and some ancient religious mysterious places and that's why these novels are known as gadik novels okay gadik novels in english literature actually originated during the 18th century and then developed during the 19th and 20th centuries okay who was the pioneer of gadik novels in english if someone asks you then the answer is horace walpole horace walpole he published a, a novel called the castle of otranto the castle of otranto published in 1764 is considered as the first Gadik novel of English literature and that's why Horace Walpole is known as the pioneer, as the founder of such Gadik novel. Then later on, you know, during the 19th centuries and century we have the, the another novel the strange case of dr jekyll and mr hyde okay which was written by robert stevenson and we have another novel dracula published in 1897 written by abraham stoker okay they are the best examples of Gadik novels in English literature. Now the question is what are the important characteristics or features of Gadik novels? Okay, I told you in the beginning these novels are full of horror, terror, mystery, suspense and romance. Okay, but at the same time if I talk about the important features of these novels then let me tell you what is the setting. Setting means place and time. So so the places which are presented in these novels, they are mostly haunted houses and ancient castles, okay? And the atmosphere is very much mysterious atmosphere, okay? And the time which is presented here is all, is all the time olden times, ancient time stories, some mythical stories are imaginative mythical stories are narrated by the novelist okay who are the characters in these novels the characters are mainly goths or witches or some zombies coming out from the graves okay vampires and and huge monsters these are the common characters presented by the novelist okay 
द एक्शन जनरली टेक्स प्लेस आउट ऑफ सम प्रोफेसिज और एक्शन और कर्सिस यू नो सम वन सम गॉड कर्सिस सम वन एंड द स्टोरी बिगिन्स ओके और सम अनोन वॉइस टेल्स यू अबाउट द प्रोफेसी अबाउट द फ्यूचर ऑफ सम वन एंड द स्टोरी बिगिन सो द एक्शन स्टार्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस प्रोफेसिज और कर्सिस ओके मेनली the in such novels some beautiful women are presented and these damsels okay these beautiful women young women okay they are in problem okay such is the case and some other characters they try to solve this problem this is the common plot or the story of such novels and i told you as i told you earlier these stories these novels are uh, full of romance full of adventure emotions and supernatural elements okay these gadik elements are not only found in novels okay if you read uh, the 19th century romantic poetry of Coleridge Shelley and Keats there also you find uh, these novels like if you read Coleridge Kubla Khan and Christabel okay there you have supernaturalism there you have this uh, medieval atmosphere ancient castles and all so in poetry also these elements are found and this poetry is known as gadik poetry in john keats poetry the eve of saint agnes okay la belle de sans merci there also you find these things and uh, p b shelley's poem the witch of atlas there also you find these gadik elements and that's why this poetry these poems are also known as gadik poems okay so all in all gadik literature which began in the uh, during the 18th century with horace walpole became popular uh, in novel and in the field of novels in the field of poetry also during the 19th and 20th century so that's all i wanted to tell you i hope now you understand the idea about gadik novels in our next video lecture i will come up with some new topic stay tuned thank you for watching goodbye